This is Mrs. Zappia with Lesson 17 for Module 2, Comparing Tape Diagram Solutions to Algebraic Solutions. Student Outcomes for this lesson. Students use tape diagrams to solve equations in the form of Px plus Q equals R and P times the quantity X plus Q equals R, where P, Q, and R are all small positive integers and identify the sequence of operations used to find the solution. Students translate word problems to write and solve algebraic equations using tape diagrams to model the steps they record algebraically. Pause the video and copy the essential question. What is the purpose of a tape diagram? Expenses for your family vacation. Don and Ag are summarizing some of the expenses of their family vacation for themselves and their three children, Louie, Missy, and Bonnie. Write an algebraic equation. Create a model to determine how much each item will cost using all of the given information and answer the questions that follow. During one rainy day on the vacation, the entire family decided to go watch a matinee movie in the morning and a drive-in movie in the evening. The price for the matinee movie in the morning is different than the cost of a drive-in movie in the evening. The tickets for the matinee morning movie cost $6 each. How much did each person spend that day on the movie tickets if the ticket cost for each family member was the same? What was the cost for ticket for the drive-in movie in the evening? Looking at our expenses and the movies, the movie for one day cost $75 for the entire family. The family consists of John and Ag and three children, so there are five people in the family all together. What we want to find out is how much each member spent on movie tickets, and we need to know the cost of a drive-in ticket as well. We are going to model the problem and solve it algebraically as well. So we want to first start out by making a bar. Pause the video and draw the rectangle on your parent on your paper. Now we know that there are five people attending and they paid $6 each and they paid $75 total for the movie. So let's go ahead and label our bar. We know that the total is $75. And we know that that $75 paid for the matinee and for the evening movie. So we'll split that up. And the section on the left here will be for the matinee. And the other section will be for the drive-in movie. And we know that the matinee cost $6 each and there were five people that attended. So we'll take the matinee portion of our money and we'll split it evenly with the five people. And they cost $6 each. So this is for John and Ag and the three children. So we have $6 times five people and we know that they spent a total of $30 at the matinee. And the remaining money was spent at the drive-in theater. So $75 spent on movies, take away the $30 spent at the matinee, means that they spent $45 at the drive-in theater. That $45 needs to be split up between the five people. Since we don't know the value of the tickets, right now we'll put an X there and it's the same amount for each people, for each person. There's not a different cost for adults or children. Then that $45 will be split evenly between the five people. To split something evenly, you divide. So $45 divided by five people, and that equals $9. So that means that the drive-in tickets were $9 each, and each member spent 
on matinee movie tickets, $9 on the drive-in tickets. Then let's relate that to what it would look like with algebra. We have five people paying $6 each for the matinee, plus five people paying X dollars each for the drive-in, and added together that equals the $75 total. We know that the matinee costs $30 plus the five tickets equals $75 total spent at the movies. Take away the mo money that was spent at the matinee and that leaves you with the amount of money that was spent in the movies. So the $30, take away the $30 equals zero. Bring down the 5x, which represents five people times the cost of each movie. 75 minus 30 is 45, which represents the amount of money left over that was spent at the movies. Divide that five, divide the $45 evenly between the tickets for each person. Five divided by five is one and one times X is X. 45 divided by five is nine. And so X equals nine, and that is $9 per ticket. So that is relating the tape diagram to the algebraic solution. And I also want to show you one more way that you can solve that problem using a tape diagram. So draw another rectangle on the right side. Another way to solve this problem is to think about how much each person spent going to the movies. And we know that there were five people that went to the movies. So the entire amount that was spent is $75. So we'll label the entire bar $75. And we're going to split up the bar between the five people. Pause the video and catch up with your notes. So each person, let's see, this is John and Ag and Louie, Missy and Bonnie. And it says that they all spent the same amount at the movies. So each section is the same amount. We know that they spent $6 at the matinee and that they bought a ticket for the evening movies, which we don't know how much it cost. And then Ag spent the same amount. $6 for the morning movie plus X dollars for the evening movie. So we fill that in for each person. I'm using X for a variable because we have not determined the cost of the movie yet. Then we look and we see one, two, three, four, five people spent six plus X dollars. Five people spent six plus X dollars. And that is a total of $75. Well, if you look at that, you might recognize the distributive property. Let's go ahead and solve this with a bar diagram, and then we'll show it algebraically. So the $75 is split between the five people. $75 split between five people equals 15. And so that means they spent $15 each on movies. Of that $15, six of it went for the matinee, and the rest of it went for the other movie. So 15 take away six is nine, and $9 is the amount spent on the other movie. So this is an alternate way to solve that problem. Now let's solve this problem, problem algebraically. Using the distributive property, we have 5 times 6 plus 5 times x, and that equals 75. Looking back at the previous problem, that's exactly what we had before. So the only difference here is that we grouped our matinee money together and then our evening money together. Here on the right side, we're determining how much we are spending per person. So just two different ways to solve the problem. 
We'll complete this activity in class. Please continue to the lesson summary. In this lesson, you have learned the tape diagram models the problem and shows the sequence of operations to find a solution algebraically. The goal of solving an equation algebraically is to isolate the variable. For example, in the equation 3t plus 30 equals 96, we are looking to figure out what does t equal. The process of solving an equation algebraically is to undo addition and subtraction to obtain zero using the additive identity and undo multiplication to obtain one using the multiplicative identity. The addition and multiplication properties of equality are applied. In an equation, if A equals B, when the same number is added to both sides or multiplied on both sides of the equal sign, the resulting sums or products remain equal.